this lesson, we'll work on our intermediate course and unit 5, and here our second part, 5.2, Mosquito Smasher. Our goals here are describe a video game, use present perfect simple and past simple. Vocabulary and reading will try to learn new words, improve our setting skills. Adjectives to describe a video game. Exercise 1. Work with a partner or in small groups and discuss the questions. Pause video and try to do the exercise in, on your own in a written form and answer to questions. And now let's look at the possible answers. Do you play any games on your phone, computer or tablet? Well, uh, I used to play a lot of games, but I have never played game for um, around three years. I've played uh, Clash of Kings, Clash of Clans, uh, PUBG, a lot of great games, and I'm really addicted to games. To be honest, on the, on the computer, I watched, I played Counter Strike Global Offense, where Mount Blazer, some medieval role playing game that I really loved, and nowadays I don't play games because I just cannot find time for this. Which adjectives could you use to describe any of the games? Well, I can uh, now use the... I can now uh, describe the game which I played for the longest period, which was three years. It was... Mount, it was... The name uh, of the game was Mount Blade. It was the game, role-playing game, in which you just play role of a main, main character and um, create missions and accomplish them. And I can describe this game as amusing, enjoyable, entertaining, uh, intelligent because you can learn history there and mostly predictable because you could just understand what's gonna happen um, beforehand. And um, it was really violent because you have to kill a lot of people. Pronunciation, words stress in longer words. Now we will look at the longer words and how do we stress, how do we pronounce them in the right way. In longer words with more than two syllables, it's important to put the stress on the correct syllable to be understood. And here exercise 2a puts the adjectives and exercise 1 with more than two syllables into the columns according to the stress pattern. Pause the video and here it's the first example is amusing and the second syllable is stressed. Pause the video and try to do this exercise on your own. And now let's check the answers. As you see, the first group is amusing and surprising. The second group is ordinary, violent. And the third group is enjoyable, intelligent, original, predictable. And the fourth group is disappointing, entertaining, unexciting. Exercise 2B, listen, check and repeat. Listen to the audio, check your answers one more time and repeat these words in order to improve your pronunciation level. Audio 5.3 Amusing, surprising, ordinary, violent, enjoyable, intelligent, original, predictable, disappointing. Entertaining, unexciting. Exercise three, read the article and answer the questions. Pause the video after reading the article, answer these answer this questions in a written form on your notebook. And now let's check the answers together. One, why is the video games industry growing so fast in Nigeria? The reason is a growing middle class is wanting entertainment. Sub-Saharan Africa is becoming increasingly connected online. More and more people have mobile phones. Two, what is special about the games produced by Malia Games? Uh, Malia Games wants to highlight African culture through games. Three, which adjectives does the writer use to describe video games. They are entertaining, unexciting, predictable, clever, amusing, African, enjoyable, and violent. Grammar and speaking. Present perfect simple and past simple. Now we try to improve our speaking skills and grammar knowledge. Exercise 4. Look at this extract from the article. Which of the verbs in bold are about a specific finished time in the past, which are about unfinished time? Pause the video and try to do this exercise 
on your own. And now let's check the answers. One, over the past few years, a growing middle class is looking for entertainment has resulted in Nigerian movies and music sweeping across the continent as Sub-Saharan Africa is becoming increasingly connected online. As you see, it's about unfinished time. Two, last year, Nigerians bought an astonishing 21.5 million mobile phones. So more and more people are looking for entertaining apps and games. It's about finished time in the past. Exercise five, read the grammar focus box and choose the correct options to complete the rules. Now pause the video and try to finish, try to complete the grammar focus box using your own knowledge. Grammar focus, time expressions with present perfect and past simple. We use present perfect to talk about unfinished time periods. An example here is so far many of the games produced have been rather unexciting. As you see, we use present perfect for unfinished actions. And second part is a past action with present result. It means even if the action has finished, it should have a present result. And the example here is European companies have copied Mosquito Smasher. Other time expressions often used with the present perfect are ever, for, just, never, since, yet. We use past simple for finished time periods. For example, here, last year, Nigerians bought an astonishing 2.5 million mobile phones. Other time expressions often used with the past simple are last, in January, on Wednesday, recently, when, yesterday. Exercise 6a. The article on page 48 is about daily life in Lagos, Nigeria. Read a blog about living in New York and choose the correct form of the verse. Pause the video and try to do this exercise on your own. Now, if you have finished working, let's check the answers. Block entry, 26th July. I've lived in New York for about three years for now. It's an exciting place to live, but there are quite a few annoying things about it too. For a start, it's incredibly expensive. When I moved into my flat three years ago, the rent was already quite high, but it has gone up three times since then. It can also be quite a violent place. I haven't been mugged yet, but my best friend has. Luckily, she wasn't actually hurt. They have just taken her back. And the traffic, it's dreadful. It took me more than an hour to get to work today and ne nearly as long to get home. However, I have never lived anywhere where there is so much to do. Over the past months, I have been to the theater three times as well as to a number of great art exhibitions. I've also just started salsa classes. You can find everything from everywhere here. So also living in New York has some bad points. On balance, I don't think I want to live anywhere else in the world. Exercise 6b, listen and check your answers. Now you have to listen to the audio and check your answers one more time. Audio 5.4. I've lived in New York for about three years now. It's an exciting place to live but there are quite a few annoying things about it too. For a start, it's incredibly expensive. When I moved into my flat three years ago, the rent was already quite high, but it has gone up three times since then. It can also be quite a violent place. I haven't been mugged yet, but my best friend has. Luckily, she wasn't actually hurt. They just took her bag. And the traffic? It's dreadful. It took me more than an hour to get to work today and nearly as long to get home. However, I've never lived anywhere where there is so much to do. Over the past month, I've been to the theater three times, as well as to a number of great art exhibitions. I've also just started salsa classes. You can find everything from everywhere here. So, although living in New York has some bad points, on balance, I don't think I want to live anywhere else in the world. Exercise 7a. Task working small groups describe the positive and negative features of a video game you know that you would include in a video game like Sharp Shoe. If you don't know a video game, make one up. Pause the video and try to do this exercise 
on your own in a written form. Exercise 7b, use the questions below to plan a video game and present your idea to other students. And here, questions, who is, who are the main characters? Give them some background. What do they have to do in the video game? What adjectives could you use to describe your video game and make it attractive to people? Pause video and try to answer these questions in a written form. Exercise 7c, describe the video game. Now, you just have to, if you have finished the exercise, you have to present your video game to your class. That's the end of our today's lesson. See you in the next lessons.